Hello guys, Bean here and I'm back with another video and today I have r slash life hacks because it's a pretty popular topic and no one's really doing it and I've seen r reddit blow up so you know I kind of want to get famous so I can get more money so I've tried to pick up the best life hacks that I could so if you guys can like, subscribe and watch the whole video I'll greatly appreciate it because it'll make my bank balance bigger let's get right into the video you can connect two Ziploc bags by flipping one inside out to make a one larger one and for an example it's a keyboard there's probably some other uses for it better than a keyboard let me know in the comments below this one's titled for all you chipotle eaters but this also may be applicable at other places when i'm at chipotle i always wait until after the employee puts the first scoop of chicken on my burrito to ask for a double chicken so the size of the first scoop isn't compromised by the knowledge I'm getting a second scoop and now the employee has to show their hand in terms of their default scoop size so they can't play fucking games with my second scoop. I wish I knew this because this always happens to me and it pisses me off. This is a life hack that my mum's probably going to need because she always hangs stuff on nails. When hanging something with two hooks, use painter tape to get exact markings and the level on the wall. Hammer in your nails and peel away the tape. And then you can see you got straight nails to put something on it. Unlike my mum who puts stuff lopsided and they fall and break. Make sure to follow at funny underscore truth on Twitter for all the survival tips that you might need in real life situations and not the BS ones you find on YouTube. If you find a hair in your food, heavily sew it before sending it back to the kitchen to make sure you got a new order. If you ever get a flat tire, take a picture of it on your phone so for future references you can use it as a valid excuse. If you're too embarrassed to buy something, get a birthday card with it. When in an argument, act as if you're being recorded. This will prevent you from saying stupid things you don't mean. Always check your cell signal when looking for a new apartment or dorm to live in. When you're finished with an essay, copy and paste it into Google Translate and listen to it. It's the easiest way to find mistakes. These aren't life hacks, these are like life survival guides. Jeez. The first one. Oh, I hate I hate when people do that. I can understand why waiters and cooks do that, but it's nasty. Imagine eating that with hair in it. It just puts me off. Second one, it's amazing. You can just use that excuse multiple times in different scenarios just to get away with it. The third one, I have no shame. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not spending money on a birthday card, so I'd never use it. Fourth one, I'm already collective of what I say because I don't want to get stuff used against me when it comes to words. The second last one, that's life saving. I've seen so many YouTubers and people move into houses and they get shit Wi Fi and it screws them over so badly. And I'm gonna have to remember that one, but knowing me, I'm gonna forget. The last one, if you do text to speech on YouTube, you will understand the struggles of trying to correct mistakes, especially grammar and the ones you can't find. Cut a leg off a delivery pizza topper thingy to create a smartphone stand. And I think this is amazing. I never thought of this and I don't know how people think of such creative ways. The best solution I had was to use my glasses as a stand but then I can't see and I find that kind of stupid life hack because it gets in the way. The best way to stop a split screener. This amazing thing. I find it so amazing because it's a win-win from both sides. This way no one could cheat in a game. And I'm not gonna lie, I am the dirtiest split screen watcher in the whole world. I would watch a screen and multitask. I do not give a damn. I'm in it to win it because I'm competitive as fuck. Shower hack. Just mix up one liter of boiling water and two tablespoons of Vicks vapor up, stirring until combined. Freeze overnight and pour one in the bottom of your shower and they steam up, giving relief from clogged nose and ears. And if you really hate anyone, put it in their drink or tea because why not this is for all the book lovers in the world who love to order books and destroy the spine of their books i'm going to teach you how to open up your books correctly so the spine doesn't get destroyed how to open up a new book place the book on its back on the table let the front cover down let the back cover down then open a few leaves in front then a few at the back alternating front and back gently pressing them down until the center is reached I'm not bothered to read the rest, but you guys can do it by pausing the video. Have you ever been waiting in a line and wishing that the annoying music would just stop? As long as it has those headphone ports, there's a magical way. This one's titled, I feel everyone should know about this. 
For about 15 years, I've carried one of these to silence annoying TVs in different places. I quote donate about 3 a month. I know it might drive the establishment's praetorators insane trying to figure out what happened to the volume, but blaring the view in waiting's room should be illegal. Take this tip and live longer. If I know how to just get those headphone tips just to mute anything, I will do it because I have families that I hate and that's just a fun way to troll them. Ever worry about having large sharpie stains anywhere? This is the ultimate guide to remove permanent markers from everything. Clothes, use hand sanitizer. Walls, use toothpaste and hairspray. Wood, use rubbing alcohol. Carpet, use white vinegar. Furniture, use milk. Whiteboard, use dry eraser marker or pencil rubber eraser. Some ceramic or glass, that took a while for me to figure out. Use one part toothpaste and one part baking soda. And lastly, you're welcome with the no E included because you know, English. I can't complain too much, my English sucks. <laughs> I know it's summertime, so this is probably never happening anywhere anytime soon. But if you're ever in a snowy area and you want to remove ice ASAP and you don't want to destroy your windshield by putting hot water onto the windshield, just put it in a hot water bag. Pray that it doesn't melt and just do what this person did. Just look at that. Whoosh. I can't even see the water melt. Oh wait a time. Or the ice melt. And then boom, bada pow. You're pretty much done. I know people nowadays are trying to become professional gamers and YouTubers and they need a headset. But they need a stand as well. So the best way to comply is to get this $2.87 banana keeper headstand. That's just amazing. It looks like it fully works as well. I think I might need to get a banana keeper. <laughs> that name is just so ridiculous. Only in the USA. Holiday cleaning tip. Put your bag or things you don't want into an Amazon box and then place them on your Porsche for the quote Porsche pirates to steal them. I don't know in what gods we were named this place works because where I'm from you try anything like this and they get home and then they find trash your house is getting bombarded like no your doors getting kicked in or something is happening because that stuff does not slide where I live it might work in I don't know the upper class kind of area with the posh people 